buongiorno. Come stai? Today we're going to have a talk about have a talk we'll talk about this pen. This is yet another pen in a lineup from Aurora. And I've covered other pens in that lineup. This is the I have to look at my cheat sheet because it's a long name. Il viaggio segreto in Italia. Mantova. 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 I'm going to go with Mantova. Now all of us it's weird how all of a sudden you get this down. I was sure it was Mantova, but then I thought Manova. Manova. Probably in American it's Manova. Um, Mantova. Series of pens dedicated to different Italian cities. This is Mantova. There we go. Aurora. Il viaggio segreto in Italia. Mantova. Uh, 652 euros, 89 cents at Applebaum. That's not including VAT. Large nib lineup. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad. Oblique, medium, oblique, broad. Stub. Italic broad and their gotcha flex nib and different nib grades 18k uh, The pen this this series celebrates different uh, cities in Italy hence Viaggio Segreto in Italia um, It is a piston filled pen it this one clearly commemorates Mantova uh, Which is famous for its Renaissance architecture and it's pretty close to La Lago Maggiore um, which is known for its um, uh, the largest blooming of lotuses in Europe. I did not know that, but here we go. I also didn't know lotuses grew in water, but then I'm a psychologist, not a botanist. Um, so there we are. This pen is limited to 888 pens. I'm going to show you what's in the box and then I will show you the pen. Um, in the outer sleeve is this, so it's the Aurora box with its coffin. These are, I call this coffin boxes, very shiny, um, very heavy, pen condom. Um, there is this, this um, uh, I, I call it a bookmark, as I don't know what else to call it. Very cool, if you scan this QR code, you can listen to the city of Mantova. I think it's a very nice touch. I'm not saying it's the most useful touch, but it's, Neat because I haven't seen other companies do something like that. Okay, you got all the the, the trims here um, This comes out. So I'm doing this slightly awkwardly as a booklet there um, I don't know I'm also still holding the one box. I don't know the outer sleeve. I don't know why okay So here we have we have this piece and then we have a fairly thick booklet here um, which shows you the, the Aurora lineup and all the different things. It's a very nice uh, complete package. Let me just for the love of God be able to reassemble this. Okay here we go that goes there and this goes here and this goes there and this goes here and now we're done. Okay so there is that and then on top of that as if that was not enough and I, this is a massive pain to get out um, you do get your own special ink, uh, which I have not opened. It's not my property, um, but it looks like a sort of like a like a like a turquoise or something. Uh, would be fun to see how that. Pan oh, just drop something. It's nothing vital, just a piece of my brain. Um, so no 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 troubles. Let's look at the pen. It's a pretty pen. Let me zoom in so you can actually see it. That just sounds about right. And then we have this pen next to a. Pilot Metropolitan, you see they're about the same length, but the Aurora has a bit more girth. Okay, let's cover the parts of this pen, and then I will do a writing sample. So, finial, same material as the rest of the cap and body. I always like that. It's a nice, nice detail. We have the clip, uh, standard 88, Aurora 88 clip, nice and springy, uh, without being too tight. We have the center band, it says Aurora on one side and made in Italy on the other side. Tapers down, barrel, um, ring there and then the piston turning knob. I do think this is quite an attractive material. Uh, these pens I think are a very nice size for a lot of people. Not too big, 
not too small, posts securely, and then you have a nicely sized pen. You have what looks like a rhodium plated gold nib, 18K. I like the scroll work on it, it looks quite neat. You have the section that tapers down and flares out. There are threads, and I love how they have, I'm sorry, I love how they have done these threads because as I move my finger across them, they're not sharp at all. It's almost like they're beveled a bit in, in this direction because you don't feel any sharpness. Very, very nice. Like I said, good size, and another thing that stands out is the ink window. I'll come back to that, but this is, again, not the ink that came with the pen, just a washable blue. Very nice. And then we have, I thought these were ebonite feeds. Um, very nice, consistent ink flow. And it is, I don't know if you can see that, it is marked um, right there, ST for stub, and again, nice nice size of pen nice nibs these screw out you can buy other nib units very easily swap out nibs yourself which is very nice let's talk about how this pen writes we have here the aurora i'm just going to call it mantova because if i have to write down that full name will be here all day this is an 18k stub and the ink is just Waterman Serenity Blue, the standard washable blue. Some people have complained uh, that I always use washable blue. What do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, there are certain things I really like. Um, it's Aurora. I don't own any Auroras. It's not really my brand. This is purely subjective. I have nothing against the brand, it's just not really my brand. At the end of the day, you could be cynical and say, well, this is just a, an Aurora 88, you know, with some, yeah, it, it is. But I like a lot of things Aurora has done. First of all, the, generally speaking, lineup of nibs they have is getting to be fairly unparalleled, right? With different obliques, with uh, and, and Ital, I think they call it a stub actually, I should be more, more, but it's a, it's a pretty crisp stub though. So anyway, they call it a stub, I'll call it a stub. Um, italic broad, you have the, the gochia nib, the, the sort of flex, flexing nib that they have. So they really have an impressive lineup in a day and age where a lot of companies are going for fine, medium, broad, if even a broad, often fine or medium, sometimes not even that. I do think that should be pointed out, but that's not specific to this pen. Specific to this pen, what I would say is, it's a nice material. It's not something I would choose for myself. I, I don't particularly like this sort of mottled material, but it is, I think, a pretty material that a lot of people would find attractive. There's some nice chatoyance to it. It's quite nice. As to this series, it's collectible. I think it's a very clever thing Aurora has done, because there's a lot of cities in Italy. So you can keep going for a while and collectors of, of 88s or even just this series will want to collect the 